Let me go for one day Let me lose myself again Give me something for the pain Always trying to pretend That I'm not living just a lie Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel If you're new here, welcome If you've been, been here, thank you so so much for being a day one and if you're watching from outside of the club what are you waiting for subscribe guys you guys have been asking me guys literally people have been asking me guys i wish i had receipts so i can show you guys that i'm not lying people have genuinely been asking me how do i do my makeup how do I do this? How do I do that? So I took the time out. I took some time off. But now it's game time. Bitches. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. But like, yeah, I took some time out. And I was just like, you know what? Let me put the girdies on. So I sat down and I did my makeup for you guys. So I just came here to make an intro and just show you um, the outcome before you guys get into the video and, and see how it started off. But yeah, yeah this is the end, guys. Yeah, guys. <laughs> because you guys begged so give that you know yeah guys please go watch my video enjoy the video and i will definitely see you guys at the end or in the next one we will see enjoy hey guys we're just going to jump straight into it before i start with the foundation and everything i prep my skin so i've already done my skincare routine I've put on my sunscreen, I've put on rose water, like I've all, I've done all of that. That's why my skin is a bit wet. And then I'm also going to be going in with the Prime Plus from Revlon, the Perfecting Plus Smoothing Makeup Skincare Pr Primer. This is how it looks, guys. So I always use this to prime my face. So I'm going to do that now. Shadow lives, let me go for one day. Me... Guys, I always hear people say when you prime your face, you should prime your problem areas like where you sweat and so on but for me i don't have any of those but i just feel like you need to prime your face when you're going to put on a foundation it's like when you paint a house guys i'm not a painter but i just know when you paint you can't just go in and just put red paint on the house like on the wall you need to put on a primer first like the color the primer and then after that you go in with the paint that you want to paint the house or the wall with so this is like that like we are priming our face before we put on our foundation guys so let me close it and show it to you guys this is how the packaging looks this is the elizabeth arden foundation guys what drew me to this foundation was the packaging guys guys i'm a sucker for, for packaging with anything and anything guys i will buy anything as long as the packaging is proper i i'm gone you know so this is the elizabeth flawless finish skin caring foundation this is how it looks. I got my products from Foshini, guys. I'm a Foshini beauty girl, so that's where I got my products. So, yeah, guys, let me show you guys how I apply my foundation. Guys, I'll also be drinking the KFC. Very, very crushed while I'm busy talking so that I don't run out of breath. Because, guys, when I speak, I speak, I speak to get So, this is going to help slow me down. So, yeah, guys, let me show you. This is the foundation. I'll be using the shade. It's 510N. And then this is how I apply the foundation, guys. So yeah, let's get into the why I'm recording this video. Firstly, this has been highly requested. People have been asking me, how do you apply your makeup? How do you apply your makeup? Then I was just like, you know what? Instead of just applying the makeup, let me also include this part. Like just give you tips on getting, okay, getting monetized. I can't give you tips on that because it's on the internet. Like, you know this, guys. Like you need to meet certain requirements. But what I can tell you is, the thing that I experienced a problem with was that wait, I, I live in Johannesburg, right? But I'm originally from a small town in Valcom. I'm a girl from, I'm a small town girl, ne? So when I got monetized, I had already registered my address with the Johannesburg address on YouTube. So they tried to set my AdSense pin here where I was staying, like where I was staying before here. So with that, it was like I was experiencing troubles because when they send your AdSense, it's not like when a person is coming to deliver, where they call you, are you home? You never know when they come, guys. Like you literally never know, right? So they sent it the first time and I didn't receive it, you know? So I was very, I was panicking because I've heard that you can get demonetized, demonetized if you don't get the pin in a certain time and you put it on the AdSense thingy, right? 
So cool, I was panicking, panicking, panicking. So the second time, I was like, you know what? Let me just send it to my hometown. And when they sent it to Belcom, that's when I received it. Like my my brother received it in the post thingy outside. So yeah, um, I think they, they don't communicate. I feel like that's so bad at communicating, guys. I feel like also, why are they going the traditional way of sending it a post? Why not send it by email, you know? But yeah, guys, let me just explain what I'm doing. This is how I apply my foundation. I apply it on the outer line of my face, not all over my face. Because I feel like if you do that, then you build out, you build up product, you know, so it creases quickly. So when you do this, there's less product on your face. So the inside of my face, like which this part will be reserved for concealer and the outer side of my face will be reserved for foundation. So yeah, guys, um, also my friend, my friend also experienced the same thing. She also uh, like wrote her address with Johannes, the Johannesburg address and she didn't receive her AdSense pin and she tried it twice and she got demonetized until she got it again like I advised her to like re-enter the address and send it to Belcom that's when she received it so that is something I can advise you guys to do if you're from a small town and you're st staying in a big city you know so yeah but this video is not about that guys this video i'm going to tell you guys how to get the ka-ching ka-ching how to get this money guys like it's nice and all to make money through adsense but trying to drive people to watch ads is such a hassle guys people don't like watching ads and i just feel like why guys we're giving you all this nice content why don't you just spare a few seconds and give me that money you know but it's all good guys so i don't only make money through adsense i make money through reviewing wigs on my youtube channel you know so yeah guys let me let me dab quickly let me dab guys this is how i'm going to dab this is this is the brush that i use it's from hermosa floor i bought the brush set so with me i don't drag you see i dab it into my skin like i, I dab the product into my skin i don't know if you guys can see that it's literally settling in it's going into my skin level so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing while i'm talking guys let me just do this part because love it's okay <laughs> okay let me stop being silly but yeah guys um how do i how did i get like how did i get started like how did i get the uh, partnerships uh, with hair companies how did they notice me so first of all now guys i ask i ask people i'll be in the dms there if you don't answer me it's fine, but at least I tried, I asked, you know? So I asked um, Homoto, who's also a YouTuber, I'll post her picture or something here. Um, she was very helpful, like big ups to her, like I love that girl guys, she was very helpful in my, in me getting like work reviews and whatnot. So she gave me advice, so I'm going to give you guys the same advice, you know? So if you don't have a Homoto in your life, then you must watch this. So, um, First of all, I bought a wig, right? I went on AliExpress and I bought a wig. Like, I bought the cheapest wig. Like, oh, I can't find cheap, 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 guys. The cheapest wig. And then I reviewed it on my channel because what I've realized is that brands want to see that you're already doing that. You know, they don't just want to come to you and, like, for something that you don't do, you know? So, if you're already doing it, they're already aligning, like, you're already aligning with their brand, you know? So, yeah, we... I did a I did a review of a wig that I bought on AliExpress and then what I did was that I then put hash, like tags. So when you're posting on 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 YouTube, there's a part where it says tags. Where it says tag, there are certain tags that you should put there. Those tags are the tags that hair vendors look for, you know. So when they're looking for hair influencers or wig influencers they're going to, they're going to search for those tags and if you have those tags on your video on your hair video then they you're, they're going to easily find you you know so i'm going to guys as i speak right i don't remember those tags specifically but i'm going to put the tags on the screen for you guys to see which tags i'm talking about like you go on youtube studio you can even edit like you know that edit option you go on youtube studio edit if you already have a hair video and you don't want to buy the hair video then add it edit it and then put in those tags there also in your caption like not not caption not the the caption is the name of the video right in your description box that's where you're going to write what the video is about then you will leave your email address for them to contact you so that's what i did right so they contacted me okay guys this part is done like this foundation again guess skinning like i don't know like it looking like i 
when you stop and move on to the second phase guys um the second phase guys now like i do things weirdly ne? i don't do traditional makeup like other makeup artists or other people do their makeup after i do that part i go to powder guys this is the part i'm going to be using it's the yardly loose powder translucent buff i also have the hermosa flow cosmetics powder in the shade love at first bake but this in this video because i'm not going anywhere guys i'm literally not going anywhere fancy i'm going to settle with this one the yardly one it's the yes to translucent buff this is how it looks i immediately skip to the powder face after i put on my foundation i'm going to use this brush and then I dab it onto my eyebrows because the next step for me is going to be my eyebrows. Né? I dab it on my eyebrows. I dab it on the areas that I put my foundation. Guys, I'm not going to look like I make sense. Né? Like the thing with makeup, I'm always, I'm always, always going to say this. The thing with makeup is that you must trust the process. So I'm not going to look like I make sense right now until we're done. Do you understand? So yeah, this is what I do. And then I go in again. Because I need my my brows to be matte matte. Because now I'm going to do my brows with a brow pencil. So I need it to be matte matte. So yeah, that's what I do, guys. So you guys saw, right? I still don't have foundation here. I can't have foundation, you guys. I don't have foundation. I only have it on my outer area. So after that step, I'm going to move on to doing my eyebrows and I use the essence pencil guys. Yo, this pencil is a little failure, but I don't know what it's number two brown. Like do you see how short it is, guys? It's number two and it's brown. And guys, I don't think I'm going to talk through this step because then I'm going to be here forever. I'm just gonna play music and fast forward this part and then I'll be back or we'll continue with the chat. Lose myself. brows i don't overline them i try to follow the shape of my brows like the natural shape of my brows so that i don't look weird because with me i do have brows but they're very airy like it, I, if you look at me without makeup it looks like i don't have brows so i have to like i just follow the outlining of my natural brows and then i color them in and then now i'm going to be using concealer you are the two concealers that i'm going to be using guys they're both from l'oreal infallible and the one is Honey 338, um, the shade is Honey 338 and the other one is Amber 332. So what is going to happen is that I'm going to be using the darker one inside here and this light one outside just to highlight my brow. So yeah, I'm going to be using the same brush that I used when I was uh, putting on my foundation, guys. You don't have to do that. Like there are people who know brushes, like they do the most, but like none, the type of person who... Who, if I can use one thing for a lot of things, then I'm going to do that. Like, there's no need for me to, to overcomplicate my life, you know? So, yeah, guys, let me quickly finish this part and then we'll continue with the story. done with my brows um this is this is the brush that i was using it's from hermosa floor as well i use it to blend in the concealer I get, like now i have the uh the pencil on i have the concealer i just need to make sure that everything is locked in by going back in to my powder going back into my powder and then just putting it on my brow 
like this is me setting the brow like what i've noticed with makeup is that everything needs to be set guys like not just the makeup itself but the brows need to be set as well when you're done so let me just do this guys i always always wear this gown when i do my makeup because i know this powder the whiteness is just gonna land onto my clothing so i just make sure that the last step that i do is wearing clothes so you guys now that i've done and it's locked in i'm going to be moving on to be to my eyelids i'm going to do eyeshadow guys guys this is a palette that i'm going to be using guys i'm a hermosa floor beep <laughs> i don't want to say it but like guys i'm obsessed with hermosa floor everything of mine is from hermosa floor but this is like an old palette guys you can just see how ragged it looks the mirror even came out guys like so i'm going to be like i was obsessed with this the stay humble stay humble and contour it the these are the brows that i was obsessed with and they even finished guys so right now i'm going to be using brow it brow it if you're a person who uses powder to do your brows you can use brow it as well like you can use it to do your brows but like nah i'm not a person who uses powder i use a pencil an eyebrow pencil like yeah eyebrow pencil so i'm going to be using this brow guys guys i'm going to show you the easiest thing ever like i have found that people who people who don't who are not who are trying to learn how to do makeup they just put guys when it comes to eyeshadow they just put they don't even blend it guys like i feel like if you're not a, if you're learning makeup and you're not sure about your eyeshadow technique just stick to one shade and blend it out that's all you're safe your pinks safe don't go and cut crease guys cut crease but like the boss like get the big boys like when you want to chill with the big boys they're talking about cut crease guys so if you're learning how to do makeup please stay away from cut crease guys cut crease will embarrass you within the people so i'm going to be using this brush it's also from guys my brushes that i'm using are from hermosa so i don't need to keep on con con co hey i don't need to keep on telling you guys that so yeah i'm going to be going into the brown shade and then putting it on guys the pigment is insane but anyway let me continue with the story so yeah guys they contacted me so when they contact you right guys you are still the time that they contacted me i didn't have a lot of followers i was just at like maybe three thousand followers like yeah so when they contacted me they were like okay hi this is who we are i'm going to look for emails guys and put them aside so that you guys can see what they said when they contacted me and because i was a small youtuber they were charging they were going to pay me 50 50 usd right and guys i didn't mind there was a small youtuber i read in my house it's like you know these people are gonna give me a wig <laughs> and they want to pay me guys i was shook i was so shook like you know how you start like that was me guys so yeah eventually i replied back gave them my details and they sent me the hair and i did the video guys i was just so happy to be doing video like if you're really guys like if you watch my youtube journey my friends always say <laughs> if you watch my first video you watch the wig that i was wearing guys you know so yeah i was mainly just doing it to get more wigs because i just wanted to look like presentable and nice in my vlogs you know so yeah that's why i did it in the first place so yeah i agreed to the 50 usd but then when I started doing more videos, I started growing my YouTube and I was just like, no, 50 years D and D's, you guys. First of all, makeup is expensive. The girl is very expensive for me to be doing a video, a whole video that's going on my channel for 50 years D, guys. Do you realize that by that video coming onto my channel, people are going to watch that video. Ne? And then they, those people stand a chance of making so much money from that video by people buying that hair that, that, that I advertised. And nah, I'm not even making anything. This is how people who don't know how to do their makeup walk around, guys. They do their eyeshadow like this and they call it quiz like it's a day. Let's go out. Let's go rock. And guys, you don't do such things. Like, oh, my bonza thing. Please, please don't embarrass me, guys. So I'm also going to be using this uh, yellow shade. This is a re revolution makeup. Uh, it's called Roxy. <laughs> guys, namar. <laughs> the handle the top part thing came out like um when i do my makeup i use the mirrors that are on the eyeshadow 
so i hold it in such a way that it ends up breaking you know because i'm very specific with how i do my makeup it's just that today i'm just sitting here so i have to show you guys without doing it like if i was me i would be like doing this washing myself like this but because of, for the purpose of the video so yeah guys yeah i was doing the video okay i'm using the yellow i'm just taking out the fallout and then i'm going to just come here to blend it in with the yellow uh-huh so yeah guys um they charged me 50 usd and i didn't mind until my started my, my channel started growing and i realized that this thing of doing hair videos is a lot of work guys sitting down your electricity for the lighting makeup and the, the shirt that you're going to wear because you can't be wearing the same shirt over and over again do you understand so you need to also buy shirts like it's just a lot guys so i realized that i need to just factor in those things into the cost you know so as i grew my amount grew and then i realized that um my china guys okay my business is like i'm gonna be so much fun my china i'm gonna tend to see how bad i want to negotiate guys and who negotiating what what but how dear more you're about dear guys i'm sure about negotiating with their lives you know so i would suggest that if you're charging 50 usd when they you send in your rate card when they're asking how much you charge Get it, triple it. If you only want, if you charge 50, you charge 150 USD because they are going to negotiate and you'll land on your price that you actually really charge, you know? Instead of saying you charge 50 USD and then, but they're not complain, 50 USD, they are still going to complain the 50 USD. So, but they're going to get it, they're going to get it, they're going to USD, so they're 25 and now you're rubbing yourself, do you understand? So, please guys, when you're charging and you're working with hair companies, triple your fee like triple 10 times it like do the most guys because my channel like they don't care but post in trouble and if they can take advantage they will take advantage you know so if you can triple the amount and you guys will go back and forth until you settle on an amount that suits both of you then i would advise you to do that so eventually my channel grew and my amount grew and even now guys i still struggle with them like I just reached 17,000. So I changed my. I got like, I posted hair videos in my life. So, of course, the more hair videos you post, the more you attract hair vendors, you know? So, this is how I do my signature eye. I'm still gonna come in with this. So, you guys see, like, I just use brown and yellow. Hold on. And if you can't blend with a brush, guys, I always just use my finger. To just brush it on top of everything like this just to mix it in together so yeah guys uh, yeah so yeah guys that's what happened to me uh i posted hair videos yesterday so i got more hair video like hair, i have more hair vendors in my emails trying to work with me you're right you know so like now this thing is a business guys it must treat it as a business guys you must charge for every little thing that you're going to be using i'm going to be using this liquid ink eyeliner guys let me put it on quickly i'm going to struggle with putting it on so let me just put this eyeliner and put my lashes on this is the glue that i use for my lashes the kiss uh glue from clicks so yeah i'm going to put on my lashes and i'm going to put on my eyeliner and then we're going to do the concealer and so on like let me just quickly do that off screen and i'm going to come back now now so yeah guys i'm done putting on my lashes and my eyeliner that's the only thing that i did guys um off screen i need us to recap so i know that you guys are still with me so firstly, we primed our face and then we did foundation on the outer layer, right? And then we moved on to powder. And then after powder, I did my brows. After doing my brows, I went to eyeshadow. After eyeshadow, I put wing liner and then I put my lashes on, right? So now we're going to move on to the next step. Guys, I like to fiddle. I like to do everything that can mess up my face before I actually do the concealer part. Like I finish off my makeup with the concealer part so now i'm going to be doing like my my waterline with this black eyeliner guys this one is from the chinese like from the chinese guys it's so much hanging guys um <laughs> but it's cheap everywhere i just found this at the chinese store and i was like okay i'm buying it um let me just find the pencil that i normally use so what i do is that i use a pencil this uh brush and then i go into it This is how it should look. And then 
I look down, I look up, but like I'm not gonna look up now because I need to see myself here. And then I go on my waterline until my waterline is dark enough, guys. I keep going in. I'm done with that. I do this because if I mess on myself, at least I can use a wipe and just remove it because I really haven't put product on this area. So now we're going to that area, guys. Guys, this is the, like the last part that is cream based. So I'm going to be using the same concealers that I used on my um what's this thing? My underbrow to conceal and shape my brows. When I shape my brows, guys, I shape the below part. I don't do anything on the top part. I'm just going to brush it with the spoolie that is on the comb and that is just it guys so guys as i was saying about uh, me working with brands as you as your brand grows your money grows you know so even with them they'll try and put up a fight like the nice thing about working with wig reviews is that they don't even ask for the numbers like they don't want to know who's watching how many numbers which percentage stays where you know they just send you the hair you just decide they're like hey i want to send you hair you're like yeah send me hair this is how much much i charge they're like oh okay where do you stay okay they send you the link to the hair right you choose the hair or sometimes they tell you which hair they're promoting so they'll give you that hair and then after that you just what's this you just give them your address and then boom you have it and then you do the review and then just a tip guys before you actually post the video right when you post your videos guys you must make them unlisted or private right before you actually make them live i don't know if you guys have noticed on my videos that what i do is that um i will proof check my video privately before i make it live you know so when it goes live I've watched it on my phone. I've watched it on TV. So I know how it looks to the next person, like in the next person's eye. I just don't upload it by chance and I just hope it looks nice on TV. No, I actually proof check, you know. So I would advise that people must proof check their videos. So yeah, that's what I do. This is very bright. So I also go in with this one just to balance it out. Uh, just to balance it out. This is what I do. Because I don't want to, like, I love a bright under eye, ne? but it can be too much and it can be overwhelming, you know. So this is what I do to bring it, it bring in my skin color back into the mix. Like my, my under eye is still going to be bright, but, and then I go with this. Yeah, guys, this is how I look. Snatched, honey. <laughs> This is how I look. And then I go in with the same foundation brush that I was using on the outer lines. And then I'm going to go in with this brush here, over here. So let me quickly do that. foundations just to bring like color back into my face guys this would be called contouring but i'm not really contouring i'm just literally bringing color back into my face and then i'm going to be contouring my nose guys it's like you know what i know how to do my makeup when i'm off screen but the moment you put the, the thingy on, it's like, what am I doing, you know? But it will come together at the end. I'm done 
done blending the concealer in the thing about uh, makeup is that you're going to work guys you're going to blend guys this makeup look normally takes me like 45 minutes but because i've been talking to you guys it's taking me forever like forever and ever so guys i'm going to be using this beauty blender from hermosa flora guys i told you guys i'm a hermosa beep <laughs> this is how they look inside guys and then the same powder that i've been using i'm going to be dabbing this inside like this let me leave it there a bit. I'm going to quickly go in and blend again under my eyelids. Normally, I would be looking up, guys, but because right now I need to see myself, I need to look here. And then I'm going to be going in with this powder like this. Help me see it. Oh. <laughs> powder it doesn't have flashback like i've never had problems with this powder i can go to groove at night and people can take a, a picture of me with flash and i still look snatched so i don't contour guys like after this, I just remove the powder quickly before I become very ashy. And then I'm going to go back into the powder just to do this. This part I like, so I will contour this part. Guys, I still look like I don't make sense, ne? but I'm getting there. Wait, wait for it, guys. I'm almost there. Like, I can just see myself. This is the me I know. <laughs> this is the me I know, guys. So, yeah. That's how I got into, like, um, wig reviews. Um, I'm still into wig reviews on my channel. And, guys, negotiate. Like, remember, if you ever get, like, an email from them, negotiate guys if you're still starting out it's fine you can settle for that 50 usd it's fine but as you grow you you're going to need to go up as well because your your numbers are growing you are growing as a person so even your skills you, you are growing you know so yeah guys i feel like i've told you everything about that um now i'm going to contour with the powder palette from mr price guys i've been looking in store everywhere i'm not finding the specific one anymore and Yang Guadis are that thing, guys. It's, it's obsessing me and my home girls because I really, really love this product, guys. As much as I use, like, expensive foundation, expensive primer, expensive concealers, I also do mix with um, uh, drugstore products, guys. And also, this is not the makeup that I use every day, guys. I have different foundations. I have different makeup products that I use whenever I feel like, okay, today is like a Maybelline day. I'll wear Maybelline. Today is a Revlon day. I'll wear a Revlon foundation, you know. I don't stick to one foundation and I'm like, yo, I found, it. I found the foundation that I'm going to use for life. No. So, yeah, let me contour quickly. Lately, my thoughts got me distant. Darker days filling up darker minds. Stuck in this room that keeps spinning. Wondering how you been, where you hide. Late night drinking, wishful thinking. What if you were here? Morning waking, heart still aching. Something about the way you make me feel. I don't want to mess up your night. Okay, guys i'm just contouring my nose but like i fun thing about me i hate a harsh line contour I, I hate it when the nose is like brown like this and gold like this that is not for me guys like in the lip that thing like now i want to look 
like i do have makeup but don't don't notice that i have makeup like don't notice that i have a brown thing going over here you know i don't like that vibe so at the moment i've been using this pink um ariel color from the roxy revolution um eyeshadow palette as a blush um when i see a pink guys a pink any pink that i like i use it as a blush like you see the pigment Liabona, guys. yeah i use it as a blush i don't wait to go like a blush like i use the blush the revlon blush but when i don't have it or i'm too lazy to stand up to get it i just use that eyeshadow the pink eyeshadow on ariel and uh city girls are coming up city girls are coming up hey city girls are coming yeah oh city girls are coming up okay let me just quickly remove this okay guys i look like a ghost like ghost nation i look like ghosts <laughs> a ghost guys so i'm going to be using this highlighter the highlighting palette is from fashini the all woman range i've been using it guys like i was obsessed with this side so i still use a little bit of it because like the others are too bright for me so i'm going to be using that Dipache. it's a fellow i did you Dipache. it's a fellow i'm trying to shake the Finally got made up my mind Can't go one more day without you No, no, no Lately there's something that's missing Empty bed doesn't feel empty heart So yeah guys, let me put in lipstick and then i'm going to put on the spray so guys this is what i use for my red lipstick guys please stop asking me this please 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 get a guys stop asking me this i'm not gonna answer you anymore because i'm tired of speaking about this this is this old woman guys i love fashini products like from their clothing to their makeup like i'm a fashini girl like my brushes um uh, it's on the breast i got on the makeup as from fashini beauty lipstick for shiny beauty, like, like, beauty like i'm just that girl you know so this is the 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 lipstick it's literally dark red guys this is the lipstick it's literally a dark red and then this is the hermosa flow that i put in the middle the dream chaser but they've changed the packaging i have that new one but it's so tiny like it, it easily gets lost i preferred this over the new one but because i understand they were trying to have their own own um packaging because every lipstick person who sells lipstick has the same packaging so they were trying to go away from that but i wish they didn't because those ones they're so short you know so yeah let me put on this lipstick typical me reminiscing a memory doesn't heal open scars late night drinking wishful thinking what is this is what i do i outline my lips with the dark red lipstick and then the lighter red shade i put in in between my lips like in the middle guys like i've tried this with other brands it still works the red that i the shade of red that i like comes out when i put them together i haven't found the perfect red that is just one inside uh, a lipstick i always have to fall like bring these two together and they make magic guys like i can still get like you know that that color that intense color yeah so i'm going to be using this if it little fella guys i really have the new one but i still prefer this one so i do this you see it's it's, it's blood shot red yeah
my beauty spots guys and then we can go to the setting spray Okay guys, I'm going to let this dry off as the Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray. While it's drying off, I'll be changing into what I'm going to wear today. And I'm also going to be getting the perfume. So I'm going to show you guys um, how I straighten this wig and what I'm, use I'm going to be using. And I'm also going to be showing you guys the perfume that I'm going to be wearing for the day. Also, while I'm doing that, this is why I do this, guys. This is why I do my makeup while I'm, I'm not dressed, right? Because I feel like makeup looks nicer while when it's been on your skin for a while you know so every day every time i put on makeup I, ha I still have stuff to do after that i still have to iron my clothes or something you know so by the time i leave the house the makeup has set into my skin that's why it looks flawless i feel like that's a tip i can give you but yeah that's how i do my signature look guys normally it takes me 45 minutes but because i'm speaking today it took me forever guys i hope i okay like let me just go qu quickly change and i'll come back or continue with our chat Guys, yeah, I'm back. Uh, Martin is home for lunch. He's eating. So if you hear some sounds coming in, just know he's busy making food. So yeah, guys, we're going into the hair part now. This hair is actually a wig that I've had for a while now. Um, I used to create it was longer than this and I used to create it. So yesterday I cut it. I wanted to have like a long bob, but I didn't cut it properly because I was cutting it on a mannequin. So I want to put it on someone's head and, and level it. But at least I can still wear it. I can get away with it you know so yeah i dyed it maroon but it was before i knew that if you're going to dye a wig you must bleach it first like make it blonde and then dye it to maroon now i dyed it straight from being black so it doesn't show show so i'm going to be using this cloud nine straightener that i got from instagram i've once shared where i got it from just that i forgot where i got it from in this video so yeah let's credit not credit let's just straighten the hair and make it bone straight there's this thing yo this thing goes up to 230 degrees so it's hot 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 guys so yeah, let me just do this quickly So yeah guys, I'm literally just wearing this um, silk t-shirt with boyfriend jeans. Like it's just a chilled look and we're also going to be wearing these earrings from The Fix. I think they were 59 rand if I'm not mistaken. I love gold earrings guys. Guys, if you want to buy some me something in life, just buy me gold earrings. I wanted to wear like button ones, not these dangling ones, but I can't find those. So that's why I'm settling for these ones. Guys, this is like me pretending that I'm going somewhere because <laughs> I'm really not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm just doing this for content, guys, because my people ask for a makeup video. So that is why we're here today doing this. Let me just do it again one more time. One more time for the girlies. Dibaje. Hey, it's a low. Dibaje. It's a low. Get a dibaje. It's a low. This thing, guys, I feel like it needs gloves the way it's so hot. Oh, I feel like watch how more it's over for you. Like, it is over, over, over for you. So, yeah, guys, this is how this hair looks. This is the bob that I wanted to make. Like, actually, it came out the way I wanted it to come out. It's just that I just need to kind of level it up at the back. But other than that, Elebonza, Elebonza, Mama Bonza, guys. So, I guess that's how I get ready. And then I'm going to be using this Rose Gamard Eau de Perfume from Zay Ray from Zara, guys. A subby of mine was kind enough to send it to me for my birthday. And I am 
obsessed. <clears throat> Whew, guys, it's so powerful. <coughs> Kesha. <laughs> Ooh, it smells so good though. Like it's, it's giving grown up. But like, yeah, guys, this is me. I'm giving Lebonza, guys. This is literally me for the day. Guys, look how I emailed to you. Because I was so focused on what I was doing. But yeah, this is the final look, guys. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys are going to try it out. I hope you guys buy certain products that will work for you after watching this uh, makeup tutorial. But yeah, guys, let me know if I should get more into this and if you don't mind the long videos. But I promise you in the next videos, I will shorten it by not speaking and just playing music so that you guys can see what I'm doing without me explaining it. But if you guys don't mind it, then definitely give me a topic, something to talk about, guys, because I can't be here running out of things to say. But yeah, guys, I hope I've put you on in terms of using, um, getting, in terms of getting re wig reviews on your channel, paid partnerships on your channel. And I hope I've put you on in terms of what to use to get that flawless finish, you know. Because, guys, it's like you channel one in English. Oh, le bonza. It is not, but it is not. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. It's going to be a vlog. So if you want to see how this makeup performs for a longer period, like the day type, then please watch my next vlog. I'm going to start off the vlog with the same look and I'll be traveling. So you guys will see how this look performs like for the day. If it shifts, if, if anything happens to it, then if you're convinced that you can get the foundation or the concealer that's why i don't like recommending things for people because i don't use foundation on my whole face foundation no i use it on certain parts and i just manipulate it to make it look the way i want it to look but yeah guys that's me and um, i'll see you guys next time bye guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe but don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you guys were watching the ads and i will see you guys in the next one bye Day without